mental strongholds. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 and 5. For the weapons of our warfare, not carnal, but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds, casting down arguments and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ. In these verses, as Paul talks about us using the weapons of our warfare, which are mighty through God, he tells us that with these weapons, we can pull down strongholds. The context there, of course, are, implies that these strongholds are mental strongholds. So when he's saying, talking about strongholds, which simply is an old English word to refer to fortress or uh, areas that are uh, well protected, uh, these strongholds, uh, as you read in verse 5, have to do with the mind because he's talking about arguments, he's talking about reasoning, he's talking about thoughts. So the context there is mental strongholds. And he says with the weapons that we, God has given to us, we can pull these strongholds down. But you know that our conflict is not against flesh and blood, but it's against evil powers, Satan and all his demon forces. So what these evil powers do is try to build mental strongholds uh, in the mind of believers. When we say mental strongholds, it means uh, uh, areas in our mind, in our thinking, um, that are actually occupied. They try to take over and create, uh, occupy these places in our mind, in, the, in our thinking patterns, in the way we think, in the way we perceive things, uh, and the way we react or respond to things. It takes our mind time, so to speak. That our mind becomes preoccupied with that and that means that it's getting to become a stronghold it now becomes an area of our mind which actually is under demonic control it's it's a place of influence now in our mind the enemy can influence us by using that area of our mind our thinking for example if if, if a believer thinks that god is not really going to protect him and therefore, he's always in a state of fear. Fear when they cross the road, fear when they you know, get into a train or a bus or a car or an airplane. Fear, fear, fear everywhere. God is not going to protect me. Something is going to happen bad. Happen, something bad is going to happen to me. You know, that fear is actually a mental stronghold. It's gone beyond just a thought or a reasoning or an argument. It's now occupying that person's mind time so that uh, their actions and the way they look at things and the way they look at life is being affected by that mental stronghold. What must we do? We need to regain that space. We need to regain that mind space that has, we've let the enemy take over. And we need to reject that fear, pull down that stronghold of fear. How do you do it? With the word of God, with the truth of the word. You speak the truth and say, my God gives his angels charge over me to keep me in all of my ways. When I cross the street, when I get on the train, the bus, the aeroplane, his angels are watching over me, guarding me. They will not let my feet dash against the stone. With the truth of the word, we cast down that mental stronghold. We are free. We give the enemy no place to work in our lives. We resist the devil and he will flee. Let's pray. Father, I pray, even for those who are listening this telecast, I pray, God, that even now, for the truth of your word, mental strongholds will come down. They'll apply the word of God to those mental strongholds and be completely free and give the enemy no place to influence them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.